comments from coaches. today, man, and, uh, in, in, the, in the history of um, Wisconsin basketball, uh, tremendous respect uh, for this program, everything that's, that's, that's been built here. Um, I, I'd like to thank Greg for giving us the opportunity to wear the tie. Uh, we, we all knew Howard. Um, we, we make this about life and death sometimes. In a world where it's very easy to, easy to forget, um, there's a lot of things a lot more important. And uh, you know, if that didn't bring tears to your eyes today, uh, seeing Howard out there, then, then, then I pity. Um, that's 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 what this thing is all about. And uh, young guy that was instrumental and huge in this in, in, in this profession. In the game of basketball, and, and I'm, I'm I'm honored that Greg asked us to be a part of this and, and, and go by the tie and, and uh, do what we can to uh, help support Howard. And, and uh, it was nice for the players to come back. Um, so uh, the emotion of the game early, uh, I felt. Um, I, I thought that uh, we did a, we did a nice job of handling that. Um, took us a little bit about Terrence really settled us down uh, with a stretch in our defense and uh, I think we had a sequence we had seven or eight straight stops in that in that, in that time frame and uh, um, that got us back in it I, I thought that uh, Marcus handled his return back to the state um, in a way that was that was Unique. Most of the time, those don't go that way. Um, uh, but in front of friends and family, uh, he did it against an elite defender all night long in Tyler Wall, who I have so much respect for. <coughs> but uh, uh, you know, I thought offensively, we settled down after we got out of the first few minutes, and um, I thought Terrence did a terrific job on AJ, uh, kind of limiting his his four to twelve. Didn't get off the three. Um, and uh, but uh, so it was nice, nice, nice game on the defensive side for us, and, and you know offensively we just kind of found our way. And uh, so excited for the win, and and uh, be a very very good team that uh, is going to have an opportunity to make a deep run in the tournament. Thank you, coach. Uh, questions for the coach, please. Right here. How much is what you've been able to do offensively, maybe tied to the fact that Marcus and Terrence do it in maybe such different ways. Yeah. Um, you know, I've said this a lot now. We don't run much for Terrence. We ran a little action, you know, late in the half court to him uh, in the second half, but most of what he got in the first half wasn't to him. Um, you know, a lot of what we do with Marcus is not that either. I mean, it's, it's just putting him in a situation and creating a matchup. So. Um, but they do do it in different ways, and, and they're both efficient. And, and the best thing is they're, they're great teammates, so they share it. So, yeah, it's nice to have that. Uh, it's not very often you score 91 against Wisconsin, uh, especially in their building. But um, uh, I thought we took took advantage of the opportunities we had today. Go ahead. Yeah, Brad. I mean, plus my stats can can be facetious sometimes, but. Last few box scores, Justin Harmon keeps showing up plus 10, plus 12 in, in limited minutes. What can you say about his contribution over the last? No, I don't think 22 minutes is limited. I think it's a pretty good, pretty good chunk. But uh, uh, yeah, he's been valuable. He's he's a, he's he's what you know. You guys that know me locally, I mean, how important a sixth man is, and, and how much I strive for that productivity and finding that piece and. And uh, you know, it's it's he, he never knows when I'm going to put him in. I don't know, uh, you know, and it's it, it kind of goes for the flow of the game and what it needs. But uh, I think defensively, in his last few, he's been stellar. Uh, he's been very very good. He's impacted the game there. Uh, he's a very good free throw shooter, um, and uh, you know, he gives us gives us um, a, a 
a lift, no doubt. Talk about returns to your home state don't necessarily go the way Marcus is. It just was it safe for him that he was able to not get kind of caught up in all of that? And just what has he meant to y'all this season as kind of the grand transfer? We probably don't have enough time for me to, to, to talk about what he's meant for us. Um, you know, we knew he was a really good player. Uh, you know, he was just shy of 2,000 points coming in here uh, and missed three fourths of a season at, at, at Southern. And um, uh, so we knew his versatility. We just didn't know how we were going to see it, you know, what it was going to look like. And, uh, uh, you know, basically our full time point guard um, now and, and, and his skill set. Um, I, I have not been around a player who spends more time, he has three workouts a day, and including one of those in our practice. Um, he is ridiculously committed to uh, the game of basketball and, and, and his success. And uh, whether it's treatments, whether it's you know the recovery piece, whatever it is, he is very committed to that. Um, to come home, most guys you know get a little amped, get a little nervous, and, and, it, it, and that becomes the moment. Um, is worrying about all that other stuff. He just focuses on the game, and, and um, uh, that's a unique quality. It, re it really is to uh, understand that you know there's a game. He's a great teammate, uh, and and that showed out today. Could be happier. They took yeah, he showed kind of that swagger about him too down the stretch. Just how much does that play into your confidence to go to him and know that you know, he's going to be in the right mentality? Yeah, I, you know, I mean, there's very few times he's he's not in the right mentality. Um, you know, I thought it was a little bit of a s slower start for him tonight, but you know, he just kind of finds his way to the game, and and he doesn't force it. Uh, you know, we were as we are every game, we're curious as to what the matchup will be, and, and who will, who will match who. Um, but um, you know, he just he just kind of picks and chooses and. Again, he's got 14 pivots and, and the ability to shoot that fade away and, and um, you know, right hand, left hand, and, and that becomes a, a pretty hard guard, especially when you're 90% free throw shooting. Coach, uh, four years ago, came to the Colt okay. yeah. uh, came to the Cole Center, snapped a long losing streak to the Badgers. Now you've won seven straight. What changed in the time in the program? And you've talked about the atmosphere and how difficult it is to play here to be able to string together these wins now and kind of handle this rivalry. Yeah, I I mean, this is such a great program and it has been for so long. And um, uh, I may be wrong, but we're not even halfway there to what Wisconsin's streak was over us. So we still got a lot of catching up to do. Um, and I don't, I, it's a great program. Uh, you know, some teams you just, you know, kind of kind of play well. And, and I think our guys always get up playing Wisconsin, I had Greg's one of my close friends in the profession. I've got so much respect for the job he does. And, um, you know, it, it's it's not trying to make light of anything. It's, it's, it is quite a feat to, to, to come in and win someplace four times in a row. Um, and, uh, you know, great players, great coaches, uh, beating a great program, and, and we're, we're, we're happy. Brad, we talked yesterday about setting the month up well, analytically your best win so far on paper. How did you do that today to start off a month that's so important? I, I think we're, you know, as I as I've talked about, I think we're we're healthier, so we're practicing better. Uh, you know, Amani didn't get in the game today, um, but that wasn't anticipated. I mean, I anticipated playing him. I think we're, you know, we're finding a place that you know after Terrence's. Uh, time away. I think that, um, that that we're finding the right comfort. I think we're, we're realizing how to use Dane. I think we're uh, we're very comfortable in, in the cross match now um, that, that people throw at us. So um, you know, March is a time to hopefully get it all figured out and continue playing for a while. Let's go more, two more questions for Coach Isco Michael and you know, we'll get to Mike. traditional big, but I, I guess, do you do that to a lot of five guys, limit up to 14 minutes? I mean, obviously, got Steve Brown foul trouble pretty, pretty early. Yeah, you know, I don't want to say we do that to everybody. Um, you know, I think the one thing that we, we have with Coleman is the ability to play in space. And, uh, you know, Coleman's 
one of the top three point shooters in the league. And, uh, you know, I thought Wisconsin did a terrific job of not giving him those. Um, but he's also proven to be pretty effective, you know, playing booty ball as well. So, um, you know, I think some unfortunate calls, but, I, you know, I, I don't uh, win his way. Steven's been having a great, great season. He's been the go to guy of, of late. And, uh, you know, just kind of a tough thing for him, I thought. But uh, we don't do that a lot. With the matchups that you talked about, can you kind of walk us through? Do you have like a list before you come in, like if they do X and we'll do Y, or is it more of like an in game? Like it's, no, like it's very much in game because I, I obviously didn't, didn't think Steve, you know, Crowell would play 14 minutes. And, and, you know, we went, we actually tried to go the other way. We actually tried to play Dane and go big. Um, second half, they just kind of got away from swinging and everything else and, and started driving us. Uh, so, so we had to counter a little bit. And, and that meant Justin and Quincy and um, you know, some, some longer time periods for Coleman. But uh, uh, it, it's by feel, it's by you know flow, it's it's the chess match of the game sometimes and, and, and kind of feel it out. Brent, you feel like tonight was a game that Terrence could get going and maybe stay going because of what he did defensively? You know, I, I thought they did a great job on him. And of course, I, you know, I got a lot of respect for Chuck. He's one of the top steel leaders in, in, in our league. And, um, you know, and, and truthfully, we don't run a lot, too. Sure. Uh, Wisconsin's number one league and, and fewest points in transition. Um, you know, so you, you, you have some concerns going in, like, okay, is he going to break loose? Is he going to get away? And, uh, you know, I thought he picked his, 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 his opportunities. He, uh, he got to the foul line a little bit, nine times, which is, is kind of low for him. But, uh, again, the, I think it's the way Wisconsin plays, and I thought they did a nice job. And then he got... Uh, hit some, some some nice mid-range jumpers and a couple threes. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you, Coach. Back over by our third floor.